My name is Sartaj Karaman. I'm a professor here at MIT. I'm directing one of the robotics groups that is focusing mainly on planning algorithms and autonomous vehicles. We study, for instance, if you have an autonomous tricycle that can carry people and goods, how would that impact a society? We're utilizing NVIDIA Jetson DK1 to build stereo depth maps and try to understand our environment. We also study how agile drones would impact urban areas. We're utilizing NVIDIA Jetson on our drone to be able to move as fast as possible in indoor environments. Now that we have better sensors, better computers, we thought that maybe we could put something more exciting. So we started working on this race car platform. If you're coming from just a programming background, all of a sudden you have this embedded computer that works just like your desktop computer, and at the same time, you will get this raw computing power that other embedded computers cannot deliver. Last year, we gave the students the NVIDIA Jetson TK1. This time around, the new Jetson, the TX1, will allow our students to do faster computer vision and also faster stereo reconstruction. Upon using the TX1, the setup time was minimal. Installing ROS was very simple. Setting up the ad hoc Wi-Fi was less than a minute's job. And with the TX1, we're hoping that we can do that much faster. That will allow us to go beyond the 8 miles an hour top speed, but go into maybe 20 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour. The students can utilize TX1 for some of its machine learning inference capabilities to be able to detect the other cars. They would allow them to race in the tunnels with many cars altogether. Without the Jetsons' raw computational power, we wouldn't be able to do any of that.